So welcome back to our sound control exercise. So in this example, we're going to find some creative way to visualize the sound information. So we tidy up the screen first and then create a new project folder. So this might probably the fourth example of playing back the sound. So I did a play sound 004 and then we name it and create the audio folder. So the next step is we try to copy a mp3 file into the audio folder and then drag it over to the desktop of your project and to play back we again go back to the audio device out and then connect it directly so that will be the music that we're going to use for visualization and again we also use the spectrum information from chop the audio spectrum and we connect directly here and with the same logic so we change the output length this number of sample to set it manually so because we are going to target with a screen of 1280 pixel width so the width for this one is 12x0 so we we'll use of this one and we also reduce the FFT size such that we can just have enough of them to put it in here so the next step is we are going to select only one channel so we have channel 1 and channel 2 it's up to you which one to use for example you can use channel 2 so that is the channel 2 information and when you take a look of those values it's pretty small close to 0 and 0 0.0 so 0.2 something so we now use the limit chop to connect here and then the way we limit it we do a clamp so it makes sure it's within the range and then we do a normalization turn on the normalize so now you have the range between minus one to one and the next step is we pass it through a math mathematical calculation so the original range is minus one to one and then I convert it to zero to one so this will be the sequence of number that I want to change it into pixel so to convert into pixels we select the top that's one we call chop two so chop to means you are going to take the input from a chop that's from the number sequence and then convert this number sequence into pixel of different brightness so we first drag it over here to the chop entry and then it will give you this lines of pixel and the next step is we would like to make this lines of pixel a little bit longer so there's two ways we can do so one is the resolution the other is fit so we can try with the fit and then in the fit we select the custom resolution to our target one 1200 ST by 720 and in the fit we choose the fill that is to fill up the whole screen so that will be the spectrum of the sound that we are now playing back in the speaker and in the last version of the exercise we are set 
we settle with this display and connect it to the to the output window and then that will be your project in the last exercise so for this one we would like to take one step further so how we can make use of this kind of back and right grayscale color chart so one way we can play with we try to combine it with your own image or whatever image that you can find so I use the video device in and then do a flip in the horizontal direction so this is the one we have so the next step is we would like to do something together but do it a little bit more subtly in a sense compared with just adding a composite chop to combine them together so the one we want to play is the display so the display is actually take two input and we try to shift the pixel another by using information from the second input so what we are going to do is to connect your image to the first input and then connect the color bar of the sound information to the second one so immediately you see something like this so I also connect it to the output window as well so if you take a look of the preview so that will be something like this this more or less copy some of the color tone of your video image okay so it's not exactly what we want to do so we can take a look of the parameter window for the display and what we would like to do is actually we try to modify the display weight and to make it a little bit smaller by 0.1 and also for the y direction is also 0.1 so after you convert it to 0.1 you can take a look of the result is more or less you can recognize yourself and we can also simplify that simplify it further by take a look of the two source so we have the horizontal shift and the vertical shift so if we want to make it simple so we can just do with the horizontal shift and then turn off the vertical one and you now have something like this and if you still find it a little bit too much so you can also further reduce the, the weight and then to have a look of your result so that will be something like this so your movement that is the width of your your, your own image is actually kind of responding to the to the sound that is the vibration of the sound coming out from the speaker so it seems to be your your surface is vibrating according to the sound in this case so the last step what we would like to do is just the usual step we go out of the project one click the perform window change the output opening size to fill and remove the borders and when we go back we take a look at the perform mode and then we turn on the volume So that's the result of this creative use of sound visualization.